If you've lost your WordPress password and you can't access the admin panel because you don't remember your email address, your username or password, you can still change your password through FTP or PHP My Admin. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the steps of using PHP My Admin to regain access to your website. Simply log into your cPanel and then go to PHP My Admin. From there, you will see your databases in the sidebar. You might need to click on the plus sign to see the database names that you currently have set up. Alternatively, you can click on databases in the top navigation bar. From here, look for the database where your WordPress website is installed. Ours is on this tiny Rhino DB temp database. From here, you're going to see a link to the table for WP users. Click on browse. From this view, you should see your username, and other user details as well. So the best thing to do here is to look for the email address associated with the admin account. And now all you'd need to do is go back to your WordPress password reset page and enter that email into the password reset field. Uh, then simply just check your email and change your password. Alternatively, if you set up your WordPress site with a, um, a, a fake or non-existent email account, you can simply create that email now in cPanel. After the uh, email is created, you can go back to your password reset page in WordPress and check the email for your password reset link. However, let's say you can't get access at all to whatever email address you see here. So you can still easily change the password within PHP My Admin by clicking on edit beside the user you want to edit. Admins, by the way, are almost always user ID one. So click edit beside that user. And on this page, you're going to see a long string of numbers and letters beside password. Change this long string of letters and numbers to your new password. Please note that your password is case sensitive. Then in the drop down box beside user pass, select MD5. This is a very important step. Once you've done that, scroll down and click go. And just try not to forget your password next time. All right. Now you can go back to your site and log in with your new password. That's it. So remember, if you want more traffic to your WordPress website, or if you want to show up higher in organic search for your desired key phrases, or if you want more leads, then head over to our site at atinyrhino.com and check out our suite of do-it-yourself SEO tools for WordPress webmasters. We have keyword research tools, rank tracking tools, social listening tools, and much more. So I'll include a link to our site in the description just below this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Take care.